Ohio. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and to add extraneous material on this bill. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may, I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to urge approval of H.R. 4104, the Pro Football Hall of Fame Commem Commemorative Coin Act. Since being introduced on February 28, 2012, we have gathered 294 co-sponsors. I would like to give a special thanks to Representative Stivers and Schuler for helping me collect such a large and bipartisan group of co-sponsors. I would also like to thank the chairman and ranking members of the House Financial Services Committee, Representative Bacchus and Representative Frank, for their support. The bill before us celebrates the 50th anniversary of the Pro Football Hall of Fame the pride of Canton, Ohio. The hall opened its doors on September 7, 1963. Six legends were enshrined that day. Sammy Baugh, Red Grange, George Hallis, Don Hudson, Bronco Nagurski, and Jim Thorpe. These titans were the first of the 273 men who are now enshrined in the Hall of Fame. And I must add that 23 of those members are from Ohio. Americans from all walks of life have enjoyed the game of football for decades, and the Pro Football Hall of Fame ensures the achievements of the gridiron greatest will be remembered and preserved for generations of future fans. Since its opening almost 50 years ago, the Pro Football Hall of Fame has attracted more than 9 million visitors to Ohio from across the world. Through its media and internet outreach, nearly 15 million more participate in hall-related activities. The Pro Football Hall of Fame's efforts go beyond preserving the history of the gridiron. Two of the hall's core missions are educating youth and promoting positive values. A few highlight programs exemplify its missions. Camps for kids designed to promote good nutrition and physical fitness. The hall's Black History Month program, which details the African-American experience in professional football. The Hall of Fame Reader, a kindergarten through 12 grade summary literacy program, and teacher workshops for graduate and continual educational studies. These educational programs are designed to strengthen core curriculum knowledge and skills across key learning areas, the arts, geography, health, history, language arts, math, and science. Mr. Speaker, this legisla legislation recognizes and celebrates the accomplishments of our sports heroes, but it also will help support those exceptional philanthropic efforts. Each coin will be sold for an amount that recovers all real and imputed costs, plus a surcharge, so there is absolutely no cost to the taxpayer. Once the hall raises matching funds from the private sector, it may claim the surcharges that will be available to help finance the expansion and renovations of its facilities and carry out its mission. We are now at the goal line and prepared to put this legislation into the end zone. I urge all members to support this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I reserve the balance of my time.